Hey everyone, this is Lindy with Ancestry Answers. There are times when we're researching that we need to find a record and we just can't find it. So here's a video about using search and records that we're going to cover today. But first I want to show you, I'm going to open up this Ancestor and I'm going to show you in a different tab. Normally if you have information over here in the person's profile, you may receive research help over here, um, here on the right. And that is if records have been indexed. But what happens if you're just not finding it? So again, let's come back here and we're going to come to search records. Within search records, there's three different areas. There's search historical records, there's research by location, and find a collection. So I'm going to put in, the, so one thing that you want to do when you're researching, if you go too broad, you're going to get a lot of information. So for example, if I type in the last name of Brown, you're going to get a zillion because there's a lot of Browns. And see, it's taken forever because there's so many. So that's a lot. But let's say that you know that the person's name is Napoleon Bonaparte Brown. Okay, I can push enter or I can scroll down to the bottom and it will allow me to click update here. So now we've reduced it. Now if I know that they were born in Georgia and I'm going to put United States because there is a country named Georgia then it's going to change things even more. Here's the other thing, if you're researching based off of when the person is a child, you will want to put in information about birthplace and the parents information as much as you can because that will help. If you're looking for them as a, um, in a married situation, then you would want to add spouse information in if you know it. So you can look based off of what your needs are and we'll cover that more in another video and there's also other videos within Ancestry Answers that may help you with that. Now you, there's this uh, called collection so if I'm specifically looking for the 1940 census I can just check mark that or I can show all 79 different areas or if I want to look for all census records I could um, look for just all the, the census records and see what I find. And then I click filter these results. So experiment with this on how you, uh, what you're looking for. Um, then the next one is, so let's come back here to search records again. Again, experiment with this, putting, if it's too broad, you're going to have too many. If it's too narrow, you may or may not find it. So trying different things and see what you find. Also, if, this, if the name is one that's misspelled a lot, try different types of spellings. Over here on research by location, you can hover over the different continents and, and different countries. So if we want to go into here, we're going to go to Georgia. Then this will just give me records from Georgia. So again, I would put in the information that I know and it will just look at Georgia. So that's a great thing if you're looking for the birth information because later this ancestor ended up moving to Texas. So I may want to go back in to search records and click on here and go to Texas and do that same thing. Down here is find a collection. So if I want to look for uh, for the 19, I don't know why I'm saying fur, but whatever. Okay, 1940 U.S. Census. Then I'm going to come here to the United States Census 1940, and this will browse just the 1940 Census. So similar to the other, you can put in information. If you happen to know the residents of where they may have lived, you could put that residence in 1940, and that will help you out. So in 1940, well, this particular ancestor had died by then, <laughs> so I can't really give you an example on that one. But um, so, uh, let's see. So let's put in Brown, and let's see how many 1940 census there are. Now there's a lot. So again, if I see, I have the wrong answer. So let's go back to the 1930 census, shall we? <laughs> 
That'll help us out a little bit because he was alive then. Okay. Napoleon. We'll just put Napoleon Brown and see what we have. Okay. So we're going to come along and say, if this is my ancestor, I could click review and attach the record. And it will bring up the record slowly. And I can click and click select. Or if I, let's see, if I come here, see this code right here? If I left click on it, I can cl left click on copy ID. And I could paste that in here. Okay, and I could select it this way as well. So that's how you would attach it if it was your ancestor. Fun, right? So that is how you would use search records. Here's another one. Browse all published records, collections. It's going to be a lot. Here you can do a similar. So if you do click on that and you want to look strictly at United States of America and you want to look at Georgia, you will see all the records that you can find. If you want to look at birth, marriage, and death, these are the records that you can see. You can look at the time period because if, if my ancestor I'm looking for is born in 1710, this one wouldn't work. And I may not even find it. See, we'd have to search different ways. Okay, But in this particular one, he was born in 1883, so I could look at the Georgia birth and christening records. And I could put in Napoleon Bonaparte Brown. And this is not the correct one, but if it was, I would click review and attach the record and I put it to my ancestor. Is that super fun? So experiment, put comments below, like it and share it and do all that fun stuff because guess what? Family history rocks.